Guys, are you a first time home buyer? If so, this is gonna be the video for you. We are in the city of Chino and we're gonna be bringing you today some of the most affordable townhomes in this market, guys. So if that's something you're interested in, stick around because we get into it right after this. If it's your first time visiting the channel and you wanna know everything about the Southern California market and also cities like this, Chino guys, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell for notifications to be the first to know about everything that's going on in the Southern California market and also cities like this Chino. Again, guys, my name is Will. You all know my partner, Ian. Together, guys, we are the SoCal Property Brothers. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's not here today, but he's out there crushing it, showing clients homes from the channel. So do me a favor, guys, if you want to be next to be shown, send us a call, shoot us a text, or drop us an email, and we would love to connect with you guys. Today, we are in the city of Chino. Like I mentioned, this development's called Zinnia, and it's by Beezer Homes. Why I'm here? I'm here for you. I'm here because this is the place to be if you're a first-time home buyer, guys. These homes start in the low 600s. Yeah, that may sound like a lot to you, but in this market, 600,000, that's a steal, guys, because guess what? I hate to say it, but prices have done nothing over the last few years but go up. So this is a perfect starter home if you're looking to start building some equity and just get into the market, guys. You just gotta get into the market. So without further ado, guys, there's four different models here. I'm gonna show you two. So I'm gonna show you the largest model. So it's gonna be over 2,000 square feet. Then I'm gonna show you the smallest one, which is gonna be about 1,700 square feet, guys. So stay tuned, we're gonna get right into it. All right, guys, so we are at the first home that I'm gonna show you. So they have like a flowery theme here. So this one is called the Peony. It's 2,076 square feet. It's gonna be a three bedroom, three and a half bath, and it's a three level condo. So if I start sweating, don't mind me guys, I just started going back to Orange Theory so I can take on homes like this for you guys in the future without breaking out in the sweat, all right? So come on in, let's go. All right, here we go guys. So as soon as you enter, what I love about this unit is as soon as you enter guys, you're going to have your study. So this would be perfect for an office. So you're gonna have your office area as soon as you come in, but then also you're gonna have a bathroom right here for you. So um, very convenient, everything you need, and you can kind of do your work and be away from the rest of the household. So we entered on the first level and then you're gonna come up to the second level of the home. And this is basically gonna be the living area, guys. So as you can see, you know, nice laid out kitchen, very spacious. Everything is all in one area, but they were very smart with the space. Here's your double oven right here, right? So we have a four burner stove, the counters, guys. This right here is quartz but I think in some of the other models they use a uh, different type of material, but this is quartz, so I love it. Love the backsplash, love the refrigerator. We're starting to see a lot of the same floor plans, um, especially in these three level townhomes, guys. So there's a bathroom here. This, I believe, is an upgrade, but it has a ton of storage, and then we also have a pantry. So amazing use of space. Here's gonna be your living room area, okay? And then right off of the living room, we're also gonna have a balcony in this model. And um, you can see all of Chino from your balcony. <laughs> so really cool. All right, guys. So we're gonna go up to the third level and this is where the bedrooms are. Okay, come on. All right, so as soon as you get upstairs, you're greeted by the primary suite. Okay, so come on in. Tons of cabinetry in the primary suite. They have a built-in cabinet here, enough for a king-size bed. And then the closet. I actually love this closet, guys. This is a pretty big closet. Look at all this space. And you can do everything. Mine here, hers there. Great closet space. Awesome bathroom as well. What I noticed, though, is that there's no tub. So this is showers only. If you want to take a bath, this ain't the place for you, all right? Showers only. 
we have another bathroom that's shared by these two bedrooms, okay? So again, we had one bedroom, um, well, we didn't have a bedroom, we had an office downstairs, and then all three bedrooms are upstairs, and the washroom. So that's it for the Peony, Peony. It's all, <laughs> that's all for this model, guys. I'm gonna take you to the next one. All right guys, so this is the Azalea model. Again, like I mentioned, they have this flower theme, so let's go with it. So this is the Azalea model, guys. This one's gonna be 1770 square feet. It's gonna be priced in the low, low, low 600, guys, like 640, so uh, extremely great deal. Actually, it's probably one of my best, one of my favorite floor plans, so come on in, let's check it out. All right, guys, so I love, love, love this model. I love what they did, guys. I know it's like, as soon as you step in, it's just like house hits you, but that's perfect, you know? I mean, this is what you get for the low 600. So entry level home, but I love what the designers did. I love, you know, being able to come see the models because now you have an idea of what you should do in your place, guys. So love the sectional that they have laid out here facing the television, right? Um, then there's space to eat for four or five here at the table. And then also you have additional seating. You could probably fit another stool here. So four stools um, here. So, you know, enough to have company over, you know what I mean? For a place this size. Again, it's the entry level home. So what they used here is I think it's called E-Stone is what they used. Um, but you can change a lot of that up when you come and build your own house, right? But a uh, nice fridge, love the cabinetry. There's enough cabinet space here. It's probably more than you need, way more than you need, right? So you could use this side for a pantry and then you have all these cabinets for all your pots, pans, uh, dishes, you know, whatever. So really love what they did here, guys. You also have a two car garage and then you have, which is probably one of my favorite things, right? And we're seeing this in a lot of homes now. Um, especially here on the West Coast because we have these bl blended families is the bedroom downstairs guys So come on check it out. So you have a full bedroom and bath Downstairs and this is a nice size bedroom guys. There's enough room for a desk and everything here um, a nice closet and Look at this full-size bathroom. It's a pretty big bathroom um, That we have here guys So let's go check out the rooms and what I love, this is not a three level, this is a two level. So you have one bedroom downstairs and then you're gonna have the two, but there's also a surprise guys. In a home this size, we don't often see a loft. So you have a built-in hangout area upstairs. I love it. I love it, it's compact, but it gets really gets the job done. Also, I love all of the built-ins they have. These cabinets are all over the place, guys. Come check out this room. This is the first room. Uh, it also has a walk-in closet, which is awesome for a room this size. And then we're going to have a full bathroom with a tub. There's a tub in this one. Nice size um, washroom here. So washer, dryer, and then the primary. What I love about this primary, guys, is all the windows. One, two, three, four, five windows, guys. Look at all the sunlight that comes in. I mean, imagine waking up to this. This is awesome. And then... The bathroom is actually pretty amazing. Like, this is a nice little separation between his and hers. A lot of cabinetry, walk-in closet, and a bathroom. So that's going to be the Azalea, guys. Do me a favor, hit me up if you're interested in any of these models. There's actually two more models, but you're gonna have to post in the comments, guys, that you wanna see those. So let's go ahead and uh, wrap this thing up, man, and I'll see you guys outside. So what'd you think guys? Um, I really enjoy these townhomes, but I wanted to give you some more information about them. So the, the property tax here, and this is always something that you guys need to be asking, especially when you're looking at new construction homes, like what's the property tax? Because we have something called Melarus here and that increases the property tax. So typically property taxes are maybe about 1.25 or you know, one to 1.25 percent. Here though, with the Melarus, um, the property taxes are 2%.
So it's gonna increase your payment, guys. So make sure you're always asking that. Also, in terms of schools, I love this area, guys, because there's so many new homes. They built a school here. So there's a school called Cal Arrow that's literally in the community. So you have Cal, Cal Arrow as your school. And then in terms of high school, guys, this one is zoned for Chino Hills High. So really great elementary, really great high school. So all around great place to live. And then the HOA is gonna be in the mid 300s, guys, for this, uh, this type of property. So uh, really enjoy showing you this. Leave your questions in the comments, but these are not going to last long, guys, especially being from the low to high 600s, guys. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Um, do me a favor, send us a call, shoot us a text, drop us an email if you have any other questions or go ahead and screenshot that number below because we are the ones that answer the calls, texts, and emails. So um, enjoyed having you. Can't wait to see you on the next video. Property Brothers, out.